Richard, Glencore Extrata, we thought we were heading towards a conclusion for the deal, uh, a bit of friction around the incentive payments, but we expected something to be resolved around there. Then out of the blue, out comes Qatar Holdings, um, big shock yesterday. Yes, they, they've come out somewhat surprisingly, I must say. I think both sides have been blindsided here because Cato Holdings been in at Glen Extrata for quite some time. It's been building up its stake. It's, it's got a, a fairly, it's got more than 10%. It's a chunk that can make a difference in the sense to vote on this deal um, because it's a scheme of arrangement that requires 75% um, of, of all shareholders excluding it, Glencore, to approve it. But the real problem is they, they seem to have been sitting comfortably. They must suddenly have realize they're sitting on a bit of a loss on their stake as uh, prices have been sliding. But I think the real issue is they're just saying we want 3.2 instead of 2.8, which was the agreed merger ratio. So you I think know, they have every right to try and squeeze the last little bit out of this deal if they think they can. They're managing money. Sure, um, the do you think it's going to tip the deal over? As well, some people I, I think the pay thing is is probably the one that has had most people worrying. And then there are hints that, that may, there may be a little bit of a nudge on that one before the deal actually goes to the vote next early next month. But I think on, on the merger ratio, let, let's face it, the market has been saying about 2.7 for quite some time now, which to me suggests broad happiness with the structure of the deal as it is. And don't forget that with the falling commodity cycle, this deal at this ratio is actually looking quite nifty for extra shareholders. So I, um, it, it smacks of opportunism, but again, as, as I was just it's saying- clever opportunism in well, a way yes. because they know Ivan wants to do the deal, the exactly. CEO of Glencore. Yes. Um, everyone knows Mick wants to do it and wants to wants to get paid. So both sides want the deal. Maybe they'll be prepared to go up to a number beginning with three, maybe not all the way to 3.25. So maybe Qatar's playing a you know, clever game here at the end. I, I just think that they're obviously trying to cover up a bit of a bungle on their own side and they're trying to sort of average out the whole position. But I, I don't think that this denotes overall dissent to the deal. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just a, probably a one-off. But it's one of the many hurdles that both Ivan Glosenberg and Mick Davis have got to get over. Um, our own our own Lex in depth note tried to cover this, and it showed pretty much that this is a deal that has just got to happen. It's the only deal on the table, really. And if it doesn't happen this time, you can be as sure as anything that Ivan's going to come back with a conventional takeover with a lower acceptance threshold. Okay, so we still think the deal is going to be done. It may be sweetened a little. Um, so we look forward to the next instalment.